Excuse, Excuse me. Excuse me, madam. Was that the Masaka last night? Yeah. Yeah, Lizzie got a bit sunburnt yesterday, so. Just a little bit. So <laughs> we didn't, we didn't want to. We couldn't really go out anywhere today, basically, because it's, it's too warm. Actually, they're advising people back in the UK if you're out here in Greece or Spain. Is it Greece and Spain or just Greece? Um, Greece and Spain. We are in Cyprus. Well, yeah, but it's kind of Greece, isn't it? Well, they're advising people anyway to just be really, really careful of the weather because it's that bad at the moment. We're going past Lizzie's favourite shop. Oh, it smells so nice. Which is a huge leather shop and bag <laughs> shop. I, I'm not into handbags and whatnot. No. I just like the smell of leather. It is, you can, yeah, you smell it. So if you lose, yeah, if you lose your case or have a problem with it, this is the place to come and get another one. They've got everything in there. We've just literally seen our first Donna Kebab Express place Takeaway. over there. Takeaway. There, 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 <laughs> there, there. Oh, I can't see it, but it's over there, look. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. This, this little place looks really nice, actually. Nice for a breakfast, right on the corner. Pancakes, ice cream. <laughs> stunning. Absolutely stunning. Wish we could go and see what's down that way. Now um... oh, it's nice now, isn't it? It's, uh... Yes, yeah, it eases out a little bit. so clean though absolutely that, that's what i like is how, how clean it is but now i've got an intrusive thought right now and i just want to run up to that woman and just push her straight in <laughs> <laughs> lizzie wants to push that just, woman I in just look so need to just run up and just do it and just go how's that nice and cool <laughs> <laughs> that's really bad and, uh, just turn around. <laughs> these restaurants look nice liz they do, don't they? in now Look, look, you've got a pizza hut and a Cafe Nero together. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Pizza hut and Cafe Nero. There you go, right on the beach. You can have your coffee and your pizza. Well, it's not a beach as such. You can have your morning coffee if you get up early enough. And you can do your workout routine, look. Watch your bit here. Watch the yeah. step. Got a workout routine oh, thing there, well look. Then, but it's going to be really hot. No, thanks. Yeah. So this is the this is this is the first time we've been up this end of the beach. We normally go right the way up that end. That's where we've been up to the harbour and that. Look at that! Isn't that a really good idea? What is it? But just chuck all your uh, uh, old bottles on there and they'll recycle them rather than throwing them into the sea. Yeah. Good idea. Really good idea. Very good oh, idea. Beautiful. Do 
Should we walk down the boardwalk here? But lots of tours. This guy here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah, they've got change rooms and showers. And toilets and disabled. These changing rooms are good. Nice little sunbeds there. They've got sand there around them to make it look like you're on the beach because of, obviously it's quite rocky here. Yeah, that's a good idea, isn't it? So it's a man-made piece of beach and then you can go down to the sea. Two euros fifty. So what it is? Yeah. For a bed for, for the day. Yeah. Doing a bit of meditating, some worship. So we just thought we'd show you what's up this end. Not much to be fair, more hotels and yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's more hotels and... Beachfront hotels, aren't they? Really? Yeah, beachfront hotels. Yeah, I'm copying everything you say. Yeah. Do you have to keep copying everything I say? Do I have to keep copying everything you say? Oh. Oh. Just getting on my nerves now, so we're just going to end that in. <laughs> have just decided to rent a car because we are not the type to sit still and just be stuck on the beach or around the pool all day are we? Palmer Car Rental which is a small car rental place owned by a, a Latvian couple and uh, we've just been given a really good deal on uh, car hire. We didn't fancy motorbikes because it is just roasting hot. Yeah. Isn't it? And it's pretty tough because I've, I've got always um, go pillion not that i mind going pillion but it's just too hot to get on the back of two fatties on a bike you can't you, you nobody there's there's nobody who provides bikes for people with real like a disability with the upper limb is there no so this is the car a toyota don't have automatic either so toyota vitz with our lucky number mm-hmm how about that absolutely that's, nice, that's perfect. It's going to be quite nifty. Yeah, it's even got a uh, phone holder in it. Can nice. you see that? Look. Yeah. Well, that'd be good, wouldn't it? So we're picking the, when are we picking the car up, Liz? So we're picking it up on Sunday morning. We were only going to do two days, but um, it worked out cheaper to do three days. I think it, only, it was like 33 euros per day if you'd done three days. But it was 45 euros if you were yeah. doing two days each. So yeah, so 33 euros, 33 euros a day. Yeah, so it worked out Very a bit good. cheaper. So we've got an extra day. Yeah. And um, we're going to get some good sites in to yeah. get some good content for you guys. Yeah, and 
we've got to go and check now that we can park at the hotel. Uh, look at this place, look, it's called the Old Shag. <laughs> Lizzie saw this. <laughs> look what Lizzie just found. There you go. Harley Davidson. Found a motorcycle rental place. Hey. Yeah. See the, the oh, yeah. got a cruisers, got a Hello. got a Royal Enfield. Hello, you all right? Yeah, I think it's a bullet. Yeah, but it has a Royal Enfield bullet. Pretty cool. Little motorcycle rental place. They do tours as well on quad bikes. Yeah, trans out. Two trans outs. Mm. Yeah, but. I know, it's so frustrating for me, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't, don't want, don't want, to, don't want you to think we have to do something like that. It is a bit of a bone of contention, actually, guys. Like, we would both love to get on bikes now and just ride around this island, wouldn't we? Mm. But I'm not going to do it if. And Lizzie don't really like going. I don't mind it, but I'd, I'd like, I like to experience my own ride, don't I? Yeah. We're trying to find this church to show you. It's right at the back of our hotel that we sit and look at every night. <laughs> oh, I've got to stop talking, look. Wow. How pretty is that? I don't want to stay here, no. Ain't going to keep it low now. If you want to go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind up. church is closed by the way just in case you hadn't guessed it's supposed to be absolutely beautiful inside we've seen like pictures of it it's so hot at the moment that there's like a pool of sweat in the bottom of my arm and excuse me, excuse me madam oh it's well funny when she does that in a lift was that the masaka last night yeah Look, they've got a big loudspeaker there. Can you? They've not got it switched on though. No. How lovely! Look. I know exactly what this says. This says, "Please enter the church with proper clothes." Because they told me here. <laughs> I'm not waterproof, so I might blow up. Come on. So we're going to go and have a look at this little archaeological site over here. I'm not sure whether it's on the map or it's just a little find. So, take you with us. One, whoa, one. Hey, should we get them? No. Oh, I'd love to sit in them. Yeah. Okay. Arsala and you burn. Yeah, but it's got springs on it. <laughs> springs on it, my bum will spring. Look. Look at this. Unbelievable. This is just behind our hotel. Yeah. See, when you go out, and you just have a wander about down the little side streets rather than sticking to the generic strip and you know where all the bars are. This is what you find. Yeah. Oh, you can't go in there. 
Smoking. You're such a hive of information, oh. Elizabeth. Uh, oh no, walk way out of service, not safe to walk on. Oh. Oh. Well, Hiya. Sitting in the sun. Just waiting for you. The King of Denmark. In Paphos was buried Eric Ejigod, king of Denmark, who died suddenly on his way to the Holy Land. Tombs, basilica, catacombs, theatre, quarries, lighthouse, Odeon, the list goes on. Look, we all make part on that, look. Oh. Decided that every, every 15 minutes or so we're going to sit and have a break. Because of the heat, it's like 40 degrees. Lovely in the shade though, isn't it? Them columns on that. Huh? The columns on there. Yeah, no. so, so Lizzie said she ain't drinking tonight. Thanks to Akanji and uh, Jordan Pickford, we all oh, we're actually going for the next round. So we're in the semi-finals. What do you think about that, Liz? Very good. Very good. I'm not going to say I predicted it. I predicted it. Liz predicted it all. Uh, we're very, very happy. Let's go.